always ask me, you know, like Oscar, you know, <clears throat> I'm stuck at say a 600 Fargo and I want to get to the next level. Well, what do I need to do? And I always tell people jokingly, but half serious, you have to be a little bit crazy to play pool at a high level. Um, I've never met an individual that plays at a high level that doesn't have this obsessive compulsive personality. You almost need to have that, I guess the Mamba mentality for lack of better words. And I remember uh, when I lived at home at my parents' house, and I was like 19, um, I started playing pool seriously. Um, it wasn't unusual for me to, to go days without sleeping. Um, and I was just so obsessed with the sport. So I know it sounds insane, but I would catch myself, you know, playing. I'd start my training the late night session after I'd get home from college classes and stuff like at 6 p.m. And I'd play until 8 or 9 a.m. the next day. Um, it really is that demanding how much effort. Um, if you're not willing to put in that type of work, <clears throat> You're not going to get the results. End of story. No matter how talented you are, no matter how, who coaches you, you have to put in the work. Now, obviously, that's that's an excessive thing. That's that's kind of like borderline insanity. Um, I did that through when I was younger. Um, I don't do that now, obviously, but you have to put in that type of work to where you losing. You hate losing more than you like winning. I always tell people that. I hate losing more than I like winning. Um, wins, victories, the high is very short-lived. Losing, those are the ones that really, really irks me. It stings. And the only way to get over that pain of losing is to get to winning again. Um, so definitely, I can't emphasize this enough. I see people spend so much money on equipment and unnecessary things invest in proper training whether that's a proper coach do your research the information's out there invest in yourself for training and then once you start getting this a good platform to where you're not just wasting your time hitting balls into the rail i had my dad who <clears throat> helped me so much immensely and there's things that my dad didn't teach me there's things that my dad didn't know so i always suggest to people like Try to grab information from as many different styles and techniques as possible. Um, what you'll learn from, you know, maybe Shane Mamboni can help you with a 10 ball break, you know, and then you can learn something from anyone else. It doesn't, you don't need to get, <clears throat> and there's people who aren't very good at it that have good information. So filter that information, listen to everybody, but don't take, to, don't take everything they say to heart. Um, make your own judgments. And for me, I consider myself, my, my game in general as a hybrid. There's a lot of Taiwanese influence, there's a lot of Filipino influence. Obviously the Hispanic, the three cushion background I have. Um, I like to play all games. Um, one, of my, one of the people I learned the most from was Jose Perica, just because I loved how versatile he was. He played ball, uh, ball client played, he played snooker great. Uh, three cushion, one pocket, banks. He played all games so well. And <clears throat> for me, that's what I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn each discipline because each discipline has a quality that you can take with you. Um, so definitely, whenever you're training, be aware of the information that you're receiving. Invest in information. Um, you're better off investing in that than the fancy tip or the fancy joint protectors. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much what it takes to to jump to the next level is being uh, a little bit crazy and uh, best of luck on your journey. And it's a beautiful journey. Um, it's not a race. People develop at different times uh, and you're never too old to learn. Um, my father and I, I just had this discussion. He's 67. And I told my dad, like, Dad, you know, you got to try this out or whatever something that I, t I learned that he forgot, and he's improving himself, even at 67. So uh, it's never too late to play this game, and that's, that's a beautiful thing about it. So I hope uh, 
everybody enjoys the process.